Hey guys, so I want to show you how to make a uh, dashboard for your SharePoint site. So if your boss or if you get the, the job of, uh, hey, uh, uh, we want a dashboard with a calendar or a list, so that way it's easier for your management team to see when they log on to their SharePoint portal, then the way to do that is first you have to go to um, usually it's the home page so here we have we're on our new demo site and it's the this is a home page for our site so usually on this home page you would put a dashboard of uh, your lists or your library or any comment section so there are a lot of things that you can do uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over how I structure my dashboard It's very simple I I just like the uh, calendar and list look so what we're gonna do is um, uh, I'm gonna remove this. This is what you get when you first uh, make the site. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna keep the document section here where we can uh, drag and drop documents and um, go to edit. So here is your uh, editing screen. So it looks like this because it's kind of like a word where you drop you drag and drop pictures or items and uh, it gives you that little box. And You can still type down there and uh, you can add things at the bottom or what you can do is if you go to insert here we have the option of adding uh, web parts or app parts so you can drag and drop let's say if we have an app so we can drop app content from here so here's a test list so I, I just click add and then it'll add my test list here so now that I have my documents library and my test list here what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add another lay, uh, a layout, like a, a little box right here. So to do that, you go to text layout and you can add in a column. So this is how your page will look. So if you just do one column, it'll look like this. Even if you have, let's say, let me just show you. So here's two columns, right? So here are my documents library and my test list here. Now let's say I want to add in a calendar. So first, I have to go through web app. I can go through app part if I added a calendar list, or I can go to web part if I have a custom calendar, calendar or a custom web part. So I'm just going to go to app part and uh, click on the uh, calendar and click OK. So here, the calendar showed up because I didn't click into this box. So you have to make sure that you've you you've chosen the the box that you want the uh, particular web part to go through but let's say that you do accidentally put this web part into a another box so you can just drag and drop uh, whatever you want onto each uh, whichever side you want basically so here's our calendar documents test list so what I was going over earlier was if you choose let's say one column then everything will be added one column so you want to make sure that you choose the text layout first and figure out what you want on your uh, dashboard and uh, if you do if you're at work then your management team or your business team will let you know hey this is this is what we want or this is what the management wants so for right now I just want two columns and I want the calendar to be on that side and the test list to be here now I want to add in a search box here underneath calendar so go to back to insert go to web part go down to uh, search and categories and you can add in this search box so you have a lot of options refinement search box search navigation search results and uh, taxonomy refinement panel so I'm just gonna click on the search box and here's our search box now let's say that you wanted to get rid of some things on here that you didn't want so if you want to get rid of a web app part so you can just uh, click what you want to get rid of and just backspace so that's how easy it is so if you want to get rid of something just backspace if you accidentally deleted something that you shouldn't have off of here you can just control Z and uh, you can get all your um, layouts uh, and web parts back again so that's how easy it is to make a dashboard but this is a basic dashboard so it depends on um, what your business or management team wants uh, a lot of times uh, they'll want uh, reports uh, for example if you're connected to SQL then they'll want uh, SSRS reports so 
there are a lot of uh, different kinds of reports and uh, uh, web app parts that you can um, add into your dashboard depending on what kind of uh, dashboard you want and uh, what the uh, higher ups or your team actually actually wants to take a look at. So I hope that was uh, informative and uh, easy to understand for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, subscribe and like the video and uh, look forward to my other tutorials. Thank you.